you. The chairman of the Senate Intelligence Committee still believes groups with ties to al-Qaeda were responsible for the Benghazi terror attack September 11th, 2012. Democratic Senator Dianne Feinstein tells The Hill a New York Times conclusion that the terror group was not responsible, quote, doesn't jibe with me. Tonight, Chief Washington correspondent James Rosen continues his reports on new information about the attack from the Benghazi transcripts, top secret until Monday afternoon. This evening, what the Obama administration did and did not do to get ready for the 9-11 anniversary. On September 10th, 2012, the day before the Benghazi attacks, the White House issued a press release entitled Readout of the President's Meeting with Senior Administration Officials on our preparedness and security posture on the 11th anniversary of September 11th. It referred to specific measures taken to protect American persons and facilities abroad. There were uh, numerous steps taken. But in top secret testimony before the House Armed Services Subcommittee on Oversight and Investigations last year, the chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff, General Martin Dempsey, said the meeting was a conference call and that Libya never came up. Congresswoman Martha Roby, Republican of Alabama, chaired nine classified hearings examining U.S. force posture on the day that press release went out. It was misleading. Um, and, and quite frankly, as demonstrated on September 11th, it was wrong. Using military lingo, Congressman Austin Scott, Republican of Georgia, asked Dempsey if the September 10 session with President Obama triggered any moves to shorten response times. Did we move anybody from, say, an N plus 6 to an N plus 4, knowing that the September 11th anniversary was coming up? I don't recall directing that from the national level, Dempsey acknowledged. Now, there were, as you know, the combatant commanders have the authority to do that based on their assessment, so there was no direction to do that from me or the SECDEF, meaning Secretary of Defense Leon Panetta. Did you anticipate that September 11th being the date that it is going forward that we would have wanted to drop those notification times? Recall that in the run up to September 11th, Dempsey replied, the threat streams took us other places other than Libya. But General Carter Ham, commander of AFRICOM, who was excluded from the September 10 session, testified he and his superiors shared grave concern about terrorism in Libya. Indeed, Dempsey admitted last year the threat stream had taken him directly to Benghazi. Did you ever get the, the message that said they could not withstand a sustained attack on the consulate. I was tracking that intelligence. At the White House, the man whose office issued the September 10 press release saw no significance in the fact that neither Panetta nor Dempsey reordered force posture after their conference call with the president. Our military and our other services devoted to our national security uh, don't wait till September 10th to prepare for uh, contingencies on an anniversary like September 11, 11th of any year. Marine Corps Colonel George Bristol, a special ops commander, testified that he warned U.S. officials stationed in Libya about intelligence showing an increased threat on 9-11 and that he was, quote, uncomfortable with American security posture there and in other countries, Brett. And you have more details on foxnews.com? Yeah, the online story. Okay, James, thank you.